Hello Bob DIY here. Just today I'm going to show you how to change a blower control unit for a Volkswagen T5 transporter. The problem with mine is this one is broken and I've already looked at it and mine is the cog at the back is uh, snapped. That there. Initially, I thought it was just a kink cable, uh, which I'll mention in a moment, but it, it's not the cable, although I have changed it. So here we go. First of all, you have to lift this one out of the back. We'll take a bit of prying and uh, unscrew your radio if you have a standard VW radio you need a couple of uh, or four radio removal keys you can buy on eBay for just a few pounds a few dollars whatever and you just pop that out so I've unscrewed that so I should I can do it one handy bloody no I can come out your bugger That's a nice for the camera. Just pull the darn thing out. Plenty of spaghetti. So you got to take this holder out as well. And then you have to pull this fascia covering all the vents off. So. Okay, so I've removed the radio the whatever it's called casing so you just pull this one out first time I'll probably take a bit of careful prying around Some other things, uh, plugs and switches may be connected, so you gotta give a push. Pull the bugger out. Yeah. Make sure you know what where you're gonna put them back again. So that's that out. Around the control panel you have this piece of plastic here. That's just to hold the control panel in. You need to undo these screws here. And if you are just changing the cable, I'll talk about that in a minute, you also need to open the glove, glove box and take out the unit inside. This is my bodge job screwdriver, so uh, it's been working under that for the time being, but uh, I'll connect that. Okay, so taking out those two hex screws, this bugger should just come on out. Like that, so that's what it looks like. Goes in that way. One hex screw at each end. Sorry, not, not hex, uh, torques. Now to take out the control unit, you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So take out these cables. Push a little tab downwards. It's got a little tab. Push it and it unclip itself. And then here it's hooked around a little piece there that should just come on your bugger pull it out and it should pop off but I need to have same again the yellow one here it's originally tucked in a bit pop, pop it back for you it's in there give it a push backwards and it will come out and then turn it 
90 degrees and it comes off. Yeehaw! The thing is finally free. Uh, so I'll just show you what's issue with mine. Get dizzy watching this. Somewhere in there, there's a tab that snapped off one of the cogs. I can't really see it at this angle, but in there, I just see a bit of a dark patch. The tab is snapped off. Okay, so here's what it looks like all removed, and you've got three cables. The one that I mentioned that can get snagged is this braided one. It's originally green and it goes all the way back there. And it's a pain in the wherever to try and change. You need tiny fingers, eyeballs on the end of your fingers. Uh, to get access in there you need to open a glove compartment, undo the torque screws that are hidden in here, take out the whole unit and then you access from the side there. Uh, you can't really see what you're doing and you're doing it mostly blind but it's the same kind of system with these click on uh, clips and a little whatever circle thing. Here we go, now to put my new one on. Basically, the ring goes around there, and then the plastic clip clips in on this bit. There's one, there's one, to that bit, and there's another one somewhere. Underneath, one, two. There's the... Uh, code number if anyone needs to order one of these control units. This is just a standard no AC control unit. I think direct from VW. VW is around about £150. Um, you could probably buy cheaper on some online auction site, especially that horrible one that charges too much fees. Okay, so this was the problem with my control unit. If you look down in there, you can see there's some teeth missing on the cogs. I was just making it slip. Uh, so it just wouldn't turn the second wheel there. And here's the replacement that you see, yeah, it turns the, both cogs are turning, everything's working. So, uh, my suggestion is check before you buy. Do you need to buy just a cable or do you need a new control unit? That's the first one going in. Fits in like that. There's the end of the cable, twist around on a little thing there, and it clicks in that way. It's pretty easy to figure out where they go. Uh, you can't really make a mistake cause, because of the length of the things. Okay, so I got these two that go over this side, one on the top one on the bottom, one down there, one up there. Okay, so after some upside down yoga, groaning and moaning, I got there in the end. So one over that side, yellow one on top, and then the one that comes over from this side, down there. So. 
it's quite important which way they all fit together otherwise they're all pushing against each other it's a bit of a nightmare so that one's on the bottom it goes over to there one comes over there it's in the middle yellow one on top and the way the tabs are go uh, it's a pain in the ass We've got to fiddle and fiddle until they get in the right place if you need to adjust the the length of the cable just twiddle your dials that will adjust the length of the cable and enable you to click it in the right place okay so hopefully that is doing what it should do so i'll do a quick test in a minute by plugging Plugging it back in. Obviously, got to put the electrics back in. Okay, so and I'll put it all back together. So the first cable comes over from the right, goes over to the left hand side, the what is that? The temperature control. The red tab goes in there and then connects here. You've got to turn it at kind of 90 degrees to put that put that one in first and then click it on in on that tab. You probably need to adjust the temperature control to get it get it in the, the tab in the right place. So next one you got a yellow one and a red one which is formerly the green one. This replaces the green. So one goes down the bottom, one on the top, which is here and just down the bottom. Ah. Okay, so second one here to the temperature control. This was a chain. I found that if you turn temperature control to the hot, the red, it's easier to put the cable on the tab at the end. Uh, but to put the clip on, it's best to turn that to cold. Now I've just got to do this one, which goes down here and that that one there no, I definitely need to. okay just notice something important the original end fitting is like this flat but the replacement you have a curled solid wire cable make sure that when you place it in you've got the get the right angle the bar that's coming out on the lower lower side in other words not not on the top if that makes sense not like that but like that because it's got to tuck under this little bar down here it goes around the round piece and tucks under this round bar so it needs to be in the correct position which is yeah you get it like that Got the sunlight coming in at a weird angle now, but uh, to take out glove compartment, got first pop off these little tabs.
covers that are covering here, 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 here. They've got a little notch in the back, just uh, prise it out with a screwdriver. And then you've got these uh, torque screws. My brain's gone frozen there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one at the back there. Seven. Okay, to remove the glove compartment, need a uh, Torx key, whatever you want to call it. Torx tool. It's a T20. Uh, take them all out. Remember, two of them are like this. They go on the lower bit. That's just to help the soft close. And then you have to pull it out. Lift it up. And it come out like that. To access the blower control, do that. It's right the way down in there. If I can get the camera to adjust, see the white, the white wheel there. You've got to find your way through, and then the cables are attached down in here somewhere. You cannot see them. You can just only feel them, and they're peeling. But that does move around. Down in there, uh, I can't get the camera in there, but uh, yeah, that's where they go. Follow this one on that way. Okay, so if you've got big arms and hands, you probably won't be able to do this because you've got to get right down in there. Um, this cable comes in, goes under this bar, make sure it's under, as I just found out. down to the back there. It goes in. Let me see. On the end you've just got a push in ball. It's quite easy to push in clip. And then the this one clicks in this way. So you've got to push it in like that and snap it up. So a little tab there where your finger goes must be pointing downwards. You were doing this blind, you can't see a thing you're doing. And my battery's about to go, so hopefully. Oh, here's the routing of the cables. Two over to the back, to the left there. That's the original green, and then the yellow, and then this red one here comes over from right down the bottom. Make sure they're under these plastic bars here, as I just found out, as I had one in the wrong place, and it was a pain in the butt. So anyway, under here. Okay, so I'm on a few attempts at this one, so hopefully I'm getting the right layer. One from the left at the bottom goes under. The one from the right goes through the middle over to the left there. And this ye yellow one hopefully goes here, here. Remember, keep the bar on the bottom half because it tucks under the little tab here. I'll show you again. Pain in the butt. Well, pleased to say, finally working as it should. And at the bottom, all over the place, windscreen, yep, happy bunny now, all working fine. So, main thing I notice is just your alignment of the cable, that's the most important thing. One from the right goes to the bottom. The yellow one for the left goes into the middle. And the one from the uh, pin in the butt one over the place comes over from the left and tucks right down the bottom front. See that one there? Hope that much makes sense.
and now I got to stick it all. Okay, so about an hour later, got there in the end. This control panel was a year different to my original and needed quite a bit of faffing around to get it to fit. But yay, it's all working now. Uh, I've done some still photos I'll stick on about how to adjust it, but basically I had to trim the ends on two clips here, reuse uh, two back of the screw clips, file a little corner off each side uh, and eventually it fits, but no, oh, bummer of a job. Anyway, it's time to click everything back together and hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, I'm going to be way of uh, pissed off. Anyway, that seems to go. That one goes in there. And that one goes in there. Uh, that looks so far so good. Job done. All working. Finally, just got to put this darn thing back. And that's the end of my job for today. Ah oh, well. Okay folks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, it's my first video. I'm sure I have plenty more. I'm usually fiddling around with something or another.